watching on at home I'm sure you've already got the starting list in front of you but Cedric Lachat he will come out first Thomas Toporn of Germany he's second out Adam Ondra then Killian for Schubert and then followed by the two Russians Rostam Gelmanov and Dmitry Sharafudinov that completes your field and they're just completing the observation period and I'm going to cut to either Chris or Alex depending on who has made their observations first because this is the first problems they've had a quick look at it during the breaks and I think Alex has got a few ideas for us I'm just a little more prepared than Chris that's all um, just kidding uh, the first boulder here I actually had a chance to look at I watched some of the forerunners uh, scope it out a little bit and it seems to be set in the same uh, way that the women's was set using this giant uh, gray toilet bowl with uh, an attempt to force a feet first ascent what they're trying to do here is make the climbers turn around flip upside down and go feet first and that's uh, the way they set the women's although uh, not all the women ended up doing it that way and some of them flipped upside down and went feet first and some of them ended up pulling through the crux section there and uh, going up in the upright position but for the first one, I believe they're trying to force the men going feet first and then a big mantle on the yellow bonus hold there and uh, popping up to the finish, which is the snail. The second one uh, looks a little bit trickier from our angle. It starts out with a flat wall. Bad start hold up to uh, two Gastoni slopey crimps, uh, bad, just bad hold. Um, stepping a foot up to the right. Um, the third one looks uh, very similar to the final problem that the women had in our semifinal round today. Uh, a jump out left to two slopey holds on a volume and then a mantle up into the corner to the top. And the fourth one, Chris and I already talked about, it looks brutal. It looks so hard. I don't even know what to do here. It's, I'm at a loss for words. The, the bonus is either a gas stone or like you catch it. It's a pinch. I did the pinch. Okay, I can see the top. Uh, I'm going to pass you after Chris uh, for this problem, seeing as he is a man, and we hope, and we're going <laughs> to figure out what he thinks he would do were he in this final. I am a man. Problem number four here for the men with, um, yeah, as Alex said, looks extremely difficult. I uh, just had a quick chat to the root setter earlier, and he said that a bonus hold, which is the red hold, you might be able to see on your screens right now, um, is a pinch hold, take that with the right hand across through to the little black chip and it's a desperate slap into that big snake looking hold um, and then a punch to the top from there. So really uh, quite interesting mix of problems here but the, uh, the technical start for the men, problem number one um, going to a gently overhang wall with some absolutely brutal crimps uh, to a technical slab to incredibly brutal, powerful problem number four. Should be an awesome show here. We're an extremely talented bunch of climbers in the finals. Um, of course, the uh, the one and only Adam Ondra, who uh, has qualified in fourth position here today. Um, extremely strong on rock, and um, probably today one of the, the most um, accomplished climbers. And uh, that's very impressive given that Adam's age, born in 1993 from uh, Czech Republic. So, yeah, awesome to see see Adam doing so well, so young. The, uh, as we said, the um, if you tuned in earlier for the for the women's competition, the uh, there was a good Russian contingent in these uh, in these both the male and the female competitions here today, with uh, Dmitry Sharafutinov from Russia and Rustam both qualifying for in first and second place going into this finals here today. Both climbers, obviously, there's something in the water in Russia. They were looking extremely strong in, um, in the semi-final round. It was a, a little nerve-wracking watching the women uh, with two Russians in finals because actually the world championships um, two years ago held in China both the men's and the women's field were won by Russians. Yulia Abramchuk, who is not here with us today, won for the women. And Alexei Rubistov for the men. And having four Russians in finals at the World Championships is huge. It shows that they have a, an incredible 
much team and there's so much depth in this team and <laughs> we thought we would see world champion for women and men again from Russia so it'll be interesting to see if there is a Russian world champion here for the men today. Climbers now just viewing their problems. We've got Tim, the IFSC official, giving him the rundown. He's not actually telling him how to climb these problems. He's just pointing simply where the problem starts, the bonus hold, and the end. So he's not actually allowed to give them any beta or any hints about how to climb the problems. They've got to work that out for themselves. All he's doing is telling him exactly what I said, is telling him where to start, where the bonus hold is, and where the finish is. The rest is up to them. Put some nice tunes on all these climbers running around each other. Look like they're doing some sort of dance for the crowd here today, which is quite a sizable crowd. Good to see. The climbers see the Russians working together there with their, their beta, maybe telling each other how they're going to approach the climb. You are actually allowed to touch the first two holds, but you can't touch any other holds during the viewing. Fantastic scene here in Arco. The sun slowly dips behind the mountains. The lights lighting up the wall, making it look quite impressive with the colour going on the walls. Climbers heading back into isolation now. Put on their boots and uh, get ready to attempt problem number one. If you've just joined us, you didn't catch the women's. We are live on Italian TV, so bear with the pauses. A great audience joining us online, of course, in the web stream. It's good to have you guys here. Of course, live TV, as Chris said, covering all of this. And between us, we'll bring you the very best of the coverage here. Technical delegate Tim Hatch making sure that all the athletes are in position. And there's a crowd that are on their feet now. Good to see them. Ready to go here. This event is particularly huge and it's great to have it airing on uh, live Italian television as the um, the uh, Olympic Committee decide whether we're going to be taken to the Olympics for 2020. Hope you're enjoying your live feed there at home. Got some uh, awesome camera angles for you. The massive camera crane swooping above the audience. You don't want to stand up too fast when that thing's swinging around. Massive crane for your viewing pleasure. This event brought to you by 24-7 TV. Twenty-four 
24-7 TV, bring, bringing you live coverage of all these events. Working hard for your viewing pleasure. See Cedric Lachere just sitting off to the side. Cedric obviously representing Switzerland. Awesome climber, Cedric. Real all-round climber. He's not shy of the big walls. Down to little boulder problems. Does it all. Alex is a bit of a fan of Cedric. Cedric Lachere, otherwise known as Cedric the Cat. He did have a, a moment in the semi-finals after he finished problem number four. A bit of a scream. I don't think he thought he... Uh, I don't think he realised that he had qualified for the finals. So it would have been a bit of a nice surprise for him. Realising he was in the semis. Into the finals, sorry. Waiting for the show to get underway. Crowd still rolling in the gates. More and more people coming in. And Cedric Lachey. See him standing up now. Crowd applauding. Taking in some deep breaths. Getting ready to tackle this problem number one here for the men. This should be a fantastic event. Should be very exciting. Awesome field of climbers here. normally make uh, wages. I have nothing to bet, actually. But um, I would put some good money on Cedric tonight, for sure. The, the problems seem to be his style. He's, he's a competitor. He's strong. As you said, he's an excellent all-around climber. He's obviously fit being in finals, for sure. So I think Cedric could pull it out tonight. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Cedric, as I said before, super all-around climber. And um, definitely had a good, great result in Sheffield last weekend. Quick warm up in the climbing works and uh, he was out to um, to lay it down out in, uh, in the Sheffield World Cup. Fantastic. Quick shout out to Andy Earl if you're watching back in England. Get well soon mate. Just waiting on the go-ahead now. As I said before, we are live on Italian TV. Be patient with us. In the meantime, if you get some, uh, enjoy the awesome sweeping crane camera angles. And we're underway. Cedric Lachere from Switzerland. Out for problem number one. Here in Arco. Who will be crowned the world champion Cedric straight on there wasting no time oh incredible the crowd's got to love that super gymnastics fast paced move there from Cedric two double clutches the old one two could this be the same as the, um, the women's with the toe hooks first Alex or the, you reckon hands first or what's the deal uh, I do believe that this problem was intended to go feet first I saw the root setters putting it up. I saw the forerunners attempt it. What they did was they had their left hand, where Cedric currently has his right hand, and they flipped their feet upside down, and they went feet first. They did go feet first. And uh, I don't know if uh, Cedric sees this beta or not, if he just maybe doesn't want to try it or isn't interested. He's really good at the double touches. He was the only one last weekend in Sheffield. The double clutch. I don't think this is the, the method they intended, but I think he will do it this way for sure. 
Yep, I think you're right, Alex. A very excitable start from Cedric Lashai. Took zero preparation time. Straight from his first viewing of it, he's decided to have a go at it. The crowd are enjoying it. Can he stick it this time? He has. That is incredible there. Pure determination, pure dynamic power. Cedric Lashai. Chris, that was really incredible. That was absolutely incredible. That could be one of the coolest moves I've ever seen in climbing there from Cedric and a well-deserved top out. Awesome, awesome effort. I believe that was third attempt there for Cedric. Fourth attempt, sorry. Awesome effort. Very cool. The crowd love that. It's going to be super interesting to see how the rest of the climbers tackle this. That there was probably the best move I've ever seen in a climbing competition. If, I don't know if you can see the wall in your screen right now, but that big white strip there on the wall. I was looking at that earlier and I wondered what that was for. It's obviously a bit of padding for that, for that move, so maybe they did intend this move to be exactly how Cedric executed it with that double clutch swing there to that, uh, yeah, guard his shins on the wall. From Germany, our uh, young, second youngest competitor in finals here, Thomas Tophorn. Uh, Adam Andra is the only, uh, the youngest actually. Maybe this is the way the setter is intended. This is a crazy move, a crazy sequence. It looks, it's extremely eye appealing. It's crowd appealing. It's, it's pleasing. It's fun to watch. screen we've even employed some spotters here for this problem for this crazy swing to stop the climbers falling off the mats and to bring in some some Italian spotters here Thomas oh this truly is one of the best problems I've seen in a comp in my opinion hope you're enjoying it there at home what do you think, Alex? This problem really looks as good as the Death Star problem they had in, in Sheffield. Definitely uh, trying for a bit of a different method here that could definitely work. Uh, the problems in Sheffield were extremely fun to watch, really cool, eye-pleasing, and this this problem definitely, I think, compares to the, the problem in Sheffield, for sure. Chris, I do still believe this is a feet-first intended boulder problem. The way Cedric did it was cool, but... And that's definitely the beauty about climbing. There's definitely so many ways to approach every single thing, every single move, so, yeah, that's the, that's the beauty. Um, I think Rustum will pull this out, go feet first, and hopefully prove me right. <laughs> Although, I think this is more eye-appealing and more difficult as a climber. Feet first still looks really cool. Well, the only thing, the difficulty with this, either Alex or Chris, is that obviously it's a very crowd-pleasing move, a very dynamic move, but it's going to hurt your confidence if you're doing it seven, eight, nine, ten times. This is not what Thomas Toporn wants for his first World Championship final. And uh, to a lot of people, Thomas may have been a surprise entry into finals, um, but if you were here and you were watching, or if you watched it uh, live on the internet, he put on an excellent show. He had a very strong uh, semi-final qualified in uh, fifth place for the finals here at the World Championships and because of the show he put on in semifinals today, I, I think he belongs in the finals for sure. He put on an excellent show and it, he deserves to be here. The crowd getting right behind Thomas now. They want to see this done again. 25 seconds on the clock. Oh! 
20 seconds now. At least one more shot in there. We'll run the clock down a little bit. Jump back on the wall. Got the German team sitting behind me. They want to see him get up this. It's first final in a, uh, in a World Championship and World Cup, I believe. Yep. Oh. Five seconds. No, going back. Maybe a wise move not to have another crack at that. Save some energy for the next three problems coming. Up next, we've got the one and only Czech Republic absolute weapon of a climber, Adam Ondra. What do you want to wager, Chris? Is he going to go for the double clutch or is he going to go feet first? I don't know with that.
you guys were explaining to me earlier on, a true champion, they change their mind very quickly. They don't just keep doing the same thing and expect the different results. Killing the Schumer there, trying a different method. And of course, the amount of attempts here could be costly because the field is so tight. You want to get up there without making as many mistakes as possible. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
stress it about like off the top of my mind that I know will do the lead as well. But um, the Russians definitely bring in a big team here in the World Championships. Thank you. 
what the holes are, if they're good or bad or flat or slippery or gooey or what, but instead of strong, you can hold on to pretty much anything. Yeah, but we've seen it all so far in terms of attempts from the athletes, as Alex rightly said, from number one. Four different styles of approaches. Cedric Lachat just taking some time to reassess here, making sure he knows exactly what to do next. This one a little bit more tactical, a little less reliance on strength. Let's see what Cedric can do. Taking it steady. The flash is out this one, Chris, but he's just going at these holds or these grips look really difficult. Yeah, as you said, the size of these holds might appear big on your camera, just to the, the volume that they feel, the space they feel on the wall. There's definitely not much on these holds. See Cedric, extremely strong climber, extremely strong fingers and wrestling for these holds straight off the bat. Even this first hold. Must be desperate to pull on the wall. One of the impressions that I have gained from looking at Cedric is he's quite an emotional player where he likes to get fired up from it. That second double take, that didn't do him any favours, I don't think. No, it's, it's interesting with, these, with the climbing, you know, like the way your mood is can affect you. It's, you know, an extreme amount. Uh, especially with a problem like this where you've got to be a little bit more delicate, perhaps a little more... Um, a little more composed going into this problem, um, and uh, yeah, you can't approach this with, uh, with so much aggression. Don't be too light with these certain things. That last problem we saw Cedric on, he threw everything he had at it, and uh, it paid off. This one, he's got to change his, change his um, mood a little bit and um, slow it down. Cedric pulling on for yet another attempt. There's nothing good about this climb. I mean, it's a great looking climb, but those footholds and those handholds are just terrible. See, Cedric really sweeps his feet onto those footholds. That's not going on. Lining up for that bonus now. I think this problem is an absolute Dimitri problem down to the T. Dimitri, as I said before, the man with the steel fingers. Even Rustam, those two Russian climbers have extremely strong fingers. Super close effort there for the bonus for Cedric Lachet. The crowd is just absolutely awesome here. Yeah? Going right back, feeling almost the whole arena. Cedric off again. And number two. It is a big crowd here today, but uh, Attempt. It's going to be very impressive to see the end of this 
Walter. See the uh, German team behind me getting right behind Thomas. Desperate cross through. Can the dark horse prevail? if we see a quick send of this climb from Adam. Look at that, pressing it. Left hand start hold right down. Easily getting to the bonus. Looking very comfortable. 
dancing up this wall. He's a bigger guy. He's going to get that foot right up there. He's done it with ease. heavily scrubbing the chalk and uh, the, the rubber off of the... Oh, not good enough. There we go. <laughs> scrubbing the chalk and the rubber off of uh, that hole, so hopefully to prevent more foot slippage. Future foot slippage. Hey, foot slippage. down the clock a little bit more than uh, Thomas. Thomas was just showing a little bit of lack of experience by like jumping on the problem time after time. And Killian, very experienced climber, running that clock down and it's already showing with his second attempt here how much of a difference that bit of rest can make. Killian for Shuba. Oh! Problem number two, are ready for the men. Perhaps it's not Killian's night. I think Adam Ondra currently sitting in first place for the men. on for Gillian. Better that than the crabs, I guess. Current ranking standings right now after two boulder problems. In first place, Adam Andra. Second place, 
Dmitry Sharifutinov. Uh, third place, Cedric the Cat. And fourth place, yet to climb on this second problem, uh, Rustam Gelmanov. So I'm assuming after he puts his attempt in on this second roller problem here, he'll bump up uh, to one of the top three spots. back into isolation. He knows he should have done that problem a bit quicker. We knew that Adam Andre made a very quick send of that, flashing it. You can see on your screen some amazing screenshots. They're coming to you live. Up next, Rustam Gelmanov from Russia. He's up without any hesitation on problem number two. Crimping those fingers down a little bit short of a climber. A bit smaller than Dimitri, Adam and Kili. Trying to figure out this... Oh, locking it down to the bonus. So, so strong. He is on it today. Setting up for the final move, trying to keep his foot on that desperate little grimping, grimpy foothold. Approaching the end. Last move here for Rustam. The crowd want to see it. The flash will be very impressive. And he's up. Oh, hoo -hoo. too easy for Rustam. Rustam Gelmanov from Russia. And there's a few happy people in the audience about that one. And Rustam will be very happy about that also. Some screenshots of the crowd, some close ups of these horrible little holds that these guys are holding on to. Fantastic coverage here. Brought to you by 24 7 TV. Up next, Dmitry Sharifutinov from Russia. Just wastes no time, he's got these problems in his head. As soon as he comes out, he knows what to do. Having competed against Dimitri in previous competitions, he's sitting out the back and he's memorizing move for move what he's going to do before he comes out. Very impressive. And the oohs and ahs come from the crowd once again, like a firework show. Oh, so strong. His foot coming off there, but pulling it back in. Oh, easily done. Unbelievable. He's looking on fire today, Demetrius. We hope you're enjoying this live coverage of this event. Sitting there behind your computers or on your TV back at home. Brought to you by 24-7 TV. You guys work extremely hard to bring you these live shots. Also thanks to IFSC.TV. You can see the replays and the, the uh, crowd shots there on your, on your televisions. Hope your hands are as sweaty as mine, enjoying this 
fantastic event. We've got the floodlights lighting up the wall here, as you can see there in the distance. If you're lucky, we might do some uh, shadow puppets on the wall for you later. Up next, the one and only Cedric Lachette from Switzerland. Extremely lucky country, Switzerland. Got some of the best bouldering in the world, outdoor bouldering. I'm sure Cedric would have sampled some of that in his time. As we said before, Cedric, a real all-round climber, not shy of the big walls or the, or the little boulders, does it all. Amazing setting here in Arco. Big looming cliffs looming above us. Castles in the background. Cedric Lachette out. Gentle clap from the crowd. Cedric the cat. Oh. Uh, up on problem number three here. This boulder looks a lot like uh, our fourth and final boulder problem in the semifinals today, though the one for the women, it's uh, the same, a lateral jump out left to catch two holds squeezing around a volume. There's a bit of an awkward jump in the semifinals, and it looks to be a bit of an awkward jump here for the men because Cedric is an incredibly good jumper. He's a dynamic climber. Whoa, hold on, buddy. Cats have nine lives, so, so you guys know. He's wasted about four of them on this attempt. Those holds must be really bad for Cedric to not be able to catch them. You saw what he did on problem number one, the amazingly impressive double clutch. This doesn't look like it's going to work at all. There it is. Oh, what? I think he's doing it right. I think he just has to put a little more gur into it. He needs to unleash Cedric the Lion, get rid of Cedric the Cat. He needs to bring out Cedric the Lion. technical and awkward and difficult looking press up into the corner here. I've seen Cedric in this position before, celebrating a little prematurely. Um, Greifense, last year, standing on top of a volume, this comes to celebrate and his twist flip. Had he matched the final hold before fist pumping, he would have won. So I think he learned his lesson. Uh, he's able to match before celebrating. Bit of a commercial break here for Italian TV. As you know, we are live for Italian TV and also at IFSC dash TV, I mean dot TV, IFSC dash TV dot com, sorry. Cool camera pan up there as we show Thomas Tophorn of Germany, nicknamed Shorty. You can hear the German team sitting right behind Chris and I. Yeah, I know. I don't think there are a lot of different methods for this jump on the third problem here like we've seen on the first one. 
so many different styles and so many different ways to do it. There's pretty much only one way to do this one, and that's leap your little heart out. We've got the simul clap coming from the crowd behind us. Packed full house here in Arco. If this works, I'll be incredibly impressed. It's going to work. Perhaps I was wrong about there being only one method to this boulder problem. It looks like he's going to do it a way I never would have seen. And there it is, Thomas Topborn. Reaching the bonus up into the press here in the corner. Still has a minute and 45 seconds left. He knows he can do it. He knows his method for the bottom now. And he knows what to do up at the top. this problem number three here very technical climber very good on his feet and very good at positioning his body especially on these desperate slabs up in these pushing himself into these corners his body awareness is exceptional his finger strength very good footwork is great He's, in my books definitely one of the the better climbers out there today As you can see, uh, a very smart technique here by Adam. Uh, he brought his own towel out to the mat to place down uh, at the start of the boulder problem. These mats tend to get extremely chalky. They're dirty. There's root setters walking all over them, people walking all over them all the time. Uh, chalk on them. Your toes and your feet can get incredibly slippery, as you saw with men's number two, bringing out the towel to clean his feet off right before he gets on. A very smart technique here by Adam Andra, the Czech Wunderkind. Up into the mantle here in the corner. This is what he cleaned his feet off for. Standing on this orange volume. And there it is. A flash for Adam Andra. Very impressive. After the foot cleaning, men's number three. Really cool to see Cedric keep going for that, for that, uh, those two holes on that feature, jumping sideways dynamic, much the same as he did on problem number one. Really cool, impressive climber Cedric Lachette, but 
Adam Andrade definitely looking... Well, Dimitri looking like the man of the day right now. Currently in first place, Dimitri Sharifutinov. Second place, we've got Adam Ondra from Czech Republic. In third place, Rustam Gelmanov from Russia. Fourth, Cedric Lachet. Fifth is Kilian Shuba. And in sixth, we've got Thomas Turporn from Germany. Kilian's underway here. On problem number three. Very unlike Gillian Alex, he's usually really on the ball, just not looking like he's, he's feeling it today. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if he's nervous or maybe the pressure of a title of world championship is on the line and he's, he's feeling the stress. He's just, he looks a little off his game today. He's usually a strong, dynamic climber. He's already won the overall world ranking in the World Cup Series. He doesn't even have to go to meetings. There's no way anyone can beat him. He has already won, but they just does not seem to be his day. I tell he's getting frustrated. it out, taking another look at it here. As we've said before, you have to be able to think on your feet here and change change your plan, either on the ground or while you're up on the wall. And part of being a World Cup competitor is being able to think on your feet, literally. Killian opting for the, the more static of the, the two styles we've seen here. Pressing his way up into the corner. He seems unsure of what to do here. This looks like it'll have him facing the wrong direction. Yeah, usually when you watch Killian, he uh, doesn't fall off like that. He sort of looks like he's giving up this time. Killian usually puts his foot up. If he's got the wrong foot up, he knows straight away that it's the wrong foot. And he readjusts and usually gets the sequence right straight away. But you can see there on Killian's last attempt, he went with the right foot. I think he knew it was wrong, but he sort of seems just to give up. called it exactly correctly. Killian for sure, but looking a little bit weary. Confidence down, motivation down, and his chances of finishing the podium have gone. Well, it just shows you the level of competition here that we've been privileged to watch. You've seen the very best in the world. You've had expert analysis all the way through, but Killian for sure, but well, he'll obviously be disappointed, but he'll live to fight another day. We're waiting now upon the arrival of the leading man. And I think that's some updated results in there for us. Up next, the first of uh, two Russians, the Russian duo, Rustam Galmanov. Wasting no time, running out of ISO and hopping straight onto the wall. He's seen the Golden Problem. They had their two-minute preview. He knows what his plan is, I think. Maybe he doesn't. Yes, he does. Very strong, slow and steady. I 
think it'll work. He is the smallest, one of the smallest uh, men in ISO in the finals. But super strong, really strong fingers, composed, confident climber. I think he has this climb in him. I think he can pull it out. Second attempt there. Oh! Falling out of that awkward high step. Catching it again. Straddling in the corner. Getting a bit of weight off those arms. Ready for the final section. This extremely tricky boulder. Very tense moment for Rustam. Yeah, that's right. As Alex said, he is in a good position right now. The weight's off the arms. Stepping up. Pushing himself into the corner. His mind will be on those feet right now, trying to keep him on that feature. Desperately trying to keep his body close to the wall. Doing whatever he can to stay on the wall. Facing the complete opposite direction to the finish hold. He's working his body away up to that hold, inching his way up. So funny to watch. She's leaning completely in the opposite. his way across the wall, barely catching the finish hold. A very, very impressive and cool effort by Rustam Galmanov of Russia. Russian number two on his way out. Current leading man, Dmitry Sharifutinov. with the fingers of steel. See if his fingers of steel can hang on here. Scoping it out one last time before he jumps on. Making sure he has his beta right. Looks like he's going for the jump. dropped off the top there, but now, now it's still an open field. It's still anybody's game, so we can still see something amazing happen on the fourth boulder. No one even, no one's even tried yet. I'm uh, surprised a little that he's rushing. He just looks like he's rushing. He needs to slow down. He's stressing. Keep it together. He knows he should have had it on his first try. The only male so far to flash the jump. Just blowing it on the top there. Surprising to see actually that he just lost it at the top. He's such a composed and confident competitor. Lucky this competition being held here in Italy. I'm sure you would have heard some obscene language coming out of 
Demetra's mouth just then with that mishap. final round actually came to the end of the the, uh, the qualification well the semi-final problems and he uh, yeah he didn't didn't look his best towards the end look came out really strong and then sort of fades and that's what we're seeing here in the final round with Cedric good energy coming from the crowd still bit of an odd crowd sort of quiet and when the climbers get on the wall then they then they really get behind the climbers so we've still got Dimitri sitting in first place above Adam Ondra Cedric pulling on for his third attempt Yeah, just looking tired. Suck it out. Apparently, Alex needs a massage, so if there's any gentlemen after the competition who would offer a bit of a, a rub down. problem in his current state fatigue one minute ten on the clock still plenty of time he's off again as you were saying earlier Chris uh, Cedric is a, an incredibly incredibly talented all around climber you were mentioning that uh, you could check out 8ANU and see comp results where he would make finals or podium from the World Cup and less than 24 hours later climb a 9A multi-pitch like his name is always in the news feed on the 8A for whether it's bouldering, roots multi-pitch, track competition very talented all around climber for sure Cedric looking to the crowd a bit confused state, not really feeling it. This problem number four. We have another attempt. Oh, that was a bit better. Got his hand all over that black hole. Just managed to hold on. Perhaps knows he should have done a bit better, but he's done extremely well to get into the finals. Huge group of competitors, 170 competitors we started out with at this event, and just down to the last six here in Arco very impressive to make finals and a very impressive young lad from Germany, Thomas Tourfon up next the last problem for the men's final who will be 
our world champion for 2011. Some uh, current results for Dmitry Sharifutinov sitting in first place currently. Adam Ondra sitting in second. Very close second, I believe. Got Rustam Gelmanov sitting in third. Obviously, that desperate cling on to that last uh, last hold there of problem number three paid off. And sitting in fourth place, we've got the one and only Killian Bishuba. See the uh, camera crane casting a bit of a shadow on the wall as Thomas pulls on. Not looking like he's got much in that right hand at all. I think he's had more attempts than any other climber today on these problems, really throwing himself at them. Just requesting the brushes, clean some clean some of the smeg off of the holds. Some of the what? Smeg left from Cedric Lachette, the wet pussycat. <laughs> Thomas, can you do it? No, we can't. Hopefully next time. Bit of a silence falling over the crowd here in Arco. Thomas off again. Is that a mouse? Hear a mouse. Quiet, yeah, right. Crowd, got to get behind him. Need somewhere to... Get behind this Thomas here from Germany. As you mentioned before, uh, when it comes to experienced climbers, this... Uh, I don't know how many competitions Thomas has done. I don't know how many finals he's been in. Uh, you compared him to Killian earlier, Chris, where Killian will wind the clock down, rest, take a little break, recompose himself before stepping back on the wall. Whereas uh, with Thomas, he seems to be more of an energizer bunny competitor, uh, jumping on and on and on, trying over and over and over, and maybe wasting a little bit of energy. And with some of the more experienced competitors, they take a little break, take a little breather, step back from a bit, like he's doing now. Yeah, definitely. I think we're going to see more from Thomas in the future. It's okay. definitely a massive competition for him and a massive learning step being in this competition. His coaches are watching on just from behind me and Alex sitting here on the commentator's booth. Wonderful view. The place to be, commentator's booth. So I'm sure his coach will have a little word to him. Maybe tell him to wind the clock down a little bit more. Spend a little a bit more time resting in between his attempts. There you go. Getting behind the crowd. Getting the crowd behind him. This will be his last attempt. Five seconds on the clock. And that's it. Excellent effort. There from Thomas Dupont from Germany, the young German climber. Up next, starts with A, ends with O, Adam Ondra. Adam Ondra, up next. Coming out of Adam on 
under there, just narrowly missing, uh, snagging the bonus hold. I think he can do it. I think we'll see it from him. First competitor so far to be able to grab that little box trip. I think if he slowed down just a bit on his jump to the bonus, it would stop him from swinging out so far. And um, trying to tell Adam what to do. Kind of funny. <laughs> if he did this and didn't swing out so far, he'd be able to hang on. He climbs like 9B. <laughs> I'm going to start coaching him, I think. <laughs> you climb nine feet? You want to climb nine feet? Listen to me. I got it. Andra, any press with the the brushes? I don't think they brushed that, that uh, those holds after his last attempt. Adam obviously feeling the difference on the holds. Had a quick uh, liquid chalk up before. Obviously didn't help too much. He knows that Dimitri must be leading this competition. He is leading this competition. I'm nailing that tiny rack grip. The bonus! Oh. So, see the uh, IFSC officials, the judges, looking at each other, whether they should give him the bonus or not. I think I can see a shake of heads. I don't think they're going to give it to him. Adam telling the brushes to get up there and do their jobs. That's what they're here to do. while he waits. Fifty seconds on the clock and Adam's off again. It's going to be awesome if you can do this. Oh, Adam Ongra, he's the man. Awesome. Very, very impressive here from Adam Ongra, lining up that final hold. Woohoo! Getting the crowd behind him, he's confident. And the stand of the last time for Adam Andra. Who's the stoke for that? Adam Andra. Bit of an early celebration before he grabbed that last hold. We've seen that result in tears before. Always a sketchy move in the early celebration, but uh, I'm pretty sure he was confident he had it in the bag. Very cool finish, very cool send. Impressive, impressive climbing by everyone here. Uh, current updated results, Adam is in first place with uh, his send of problem number four. Second place, Dmitry Sherbutinov, Russia, and in third place, it's Rustam Galmanov, also of Russia, and Kilian Peshuber, currently in fourth place. Coming out now to see if he can bump his way up onto the podium here at the World Championship. We do you still have Dimitri to come? So Adam has completed his fourth problem, his last problem. Dimitri, we will see him attempt this boulder in just a few minutes. Wasting a little bit of time counting down the clock. He's confident with that though. He knows he's got a flash this to be in contention for a podium. I'm not sure even if he does it. He's going to be on the podium. He's 
looking a little flat. Killian, along with Cedric, these guys have got to be tired. Been super hot here in Arco. The sun's been beaming down on all these climbers. Got to be draining on them. Definitely been draining on the commentators here for this event. The old sunshine. Off again, second attempt. Last problem. Just looks out of sorts, Killian today. That heel hook on the blue. It's, yeah, it does. It looks quite obvious to me. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. We've seen people do it, and to us now, it looks obvious like the problem number one. Gillian, off again. Ooh, not really coming close at all to holding that little black crimper. Gillian's girlfriend, Anna Stewart, took out the women's event. A few hours ago. She is the, uh, the official queen of bouldering this year. One minute five left on the clock. There's that heel hook. Still unconvinced if he's going to hold that. I think this is one for Dimitri again, this problem. I think it could be Dimitri's night. <laughs> Look at these scrubbers doing their job now after that stern talking to you by Adam Andra. Good to see. Good boys. Just had a glance over at Adam Andra there, standing there with a smile on his face. Anticipation to see how these two Russian lads do on this problem. Look at that, no time, no time wasted, straight on the problem. Rustam, he knows what he's got to do. Oh, just coming up short. Yeah, very good idea. The old uh, foot pinch there on the uh, lower green feature. Wonderful maneuver. Dimitri off again. Amazing haircut. Oh, the, the old heel hook on the hold. Oh, so strong. Setting up for the bonus. Here he comes. Oh, he's wrestling to stay on the wall. Oh, just coming up short again. Just had some interesting information passed to us on the, on the old commentating desk here. Dimitri, he has less than four tries on this problem if he wants to win. So, if he, if he has five attempts, if he does it on his fifth attempt, Adam Andre is taking the win from Dimitri. Rustam, 
winding down the clock. Two minutes 30. Left on our clock here. Wonderful event here in Arco. Over nine days in total, this event. Catering to all ages. All styles of climbing. Speed. Got dual. Got lead. Got bouldering. Take your pick. It's yours. Here in Arco this weekend. Dimitri. Up again. Rustum. Sorry. Sorry. Getting late. Rustum. Oh! Tucks that hold. Back three fingers. Very, very impressive. Oh! So strong. Setting up for the last move. He knows he's got it in the bag. Oh, hey! Rustum. Casual glance from the audience. A nice soft clap from the audience once again. A bit of a... Although this audience is large, they're just not, yeah, not really given to get behind these climbers as much as they should be here. I think they are interested to see Dimitri, whether he will take the win away from Adam Ondra. you've had it all today we thought that the women's finale was awesome but the men well they've managed to provide quite a show for us there incredible work from the russians awesome work dmitry sharafudinov saving the best for last there he needed to do it in less than four attempts well it was nothing to him because he flashed it and in true world champion style he'll take that all day long his teammate Rustam gelmanov of course warm and congratulations there and Adam Ondra separating the two of them there. He'll have been a little bit dismayed. He looked as if he was going all out for position number one. Couldn't quite make it, Alex, but great entertainment. We saw the women providing us with a wonderful show. That was equally good. Definitely. It was uh, a very exciting evening here tonight. Starting off with the women's finals. 
And uh, finishing, rounding up the night here with the men's final, your world champion, Dmitry Sharifudinov, uh, Adam Andra, and in third, Russian teammate of Dmitry, Sam Galvanov. Very strong showing by the Russians here at the World Championships with two women in finals and two men in finals. And such an impressive, impressive finale with Dimitri flashing the final bowler. This one here, Chris, for me, Dimitri Sharapudinov with that final flash. That's the form of a world champion. That's an awesome effort from uh, Dimitri Sharapudinov here tonight. Inarco, officially the 2011 world champion for bouldering. Amazing display of finger strength. Dimitri flashing that last roll on those holes looks super tiny. And of course, the cavalcade of dignitaries here handing out the flowers for all these men are interested in is the World Championship medals that will be presented to them. That's theirs forever. It's the moment of history within the sport. bit of class from Rustag Gelmanov and from Dmitry Sharapudinov, Adam Ondra doesn't quite have the flash and the style to throw it, maybe his arms are tired oh he's going to go for it Yay! that's lovely to see there those flowers for his, his uh, lovely girlfriend who's watching on in the audience hopefully she caught them or she'll make sure she gets them but what a great show we've had here fantastic display and what a way to finish Dmitry Sharapudinov well, we saw all sorts of acrobatics and gymnastics from problem 1 through to problem 4 dynamic skill and strength through to strategy and this is the very best in the world We'll try and grab a few interviews with the winners and indeed the podium places. But if not, you've seen the very best here. 
Anna Stoy, your female world champion. Dimitri Sharapudinov does it for the men there. Tops out. Flash the last problem. Wonderful show. And it just means for me to say thank you. It's been a real pleasure to bring it to you. Thank you for your patience and indeed your presence for joining us because it's been a real pleasure. And of course, the event doesn't end tomorrow because we have the speed paraclimbing tomorrow from 4 p.m. That should be a real treat because the Paralympic efforts and the paraclimbers, they'll be given their all tomorrow from 4 p.m. and the speed climbing. Of course, we'll have the climbers later on in the week. I just want to get a quick thank you and indeed a goodbye from Chris Webb Parsons and Alex Johnson. Chris, well, your commentary is world class. We hope that the next World Championships will be talking about you instead of talking to you. That'd be nice, but it's been a pleasure to be commentating today here for the World Championships here in Arco. 